welcome back to the channel. For those who are new, my name is Maurice Jr. And what I do here at Aspire to Cultivate is specifically, I strive to make content to change the lives of individuals, families, communities, and meaningful and positive ways. Most importantly here on this channel, you will find content as it relates to success stories or financial literacy. But most importantly, you'll find something that one that entertains you or two actually piques your interest overall. Now today specifically, um, I, I want to discuss the different types of individuals that um, are indirectly involved in your life as it relates to advisors, counselors, mentors, and coaches. Now, specifically, I want to cover the coaches as it relates to you sitting down and being in a reflective state after Christmas. I know everyone is starting to think about their 2021 goals. So today, specifically, I want to you know, give you a different perspective as it relates to different coaches and how you can actually succeed in the different individuals out there that exist to actually get you to that next level, you know, pretty much as you ascend to that next level. Now, we do have our visual learners. So specifically, I want to share my screen as we get going here. Now, again, today, I, I am only covering a, a specific niche, uh, which is coaching. And I titled this one, just finding the right coach. And I want to, it's all type of coaches, but specifically I want to cover the top 10 coaches here overall. Now, types of people, as I stated before, people will fall in one of these, um, you know, categories here as it relates to uh, direction. You know, people indirectly get information from people and they pretty much fall into one of these categories, no matter if it's a mentor, no matter if it's a counselor, no matter if it's an advisor or a consultant. But most uh, importantly today, I want to focus on what I deem is the top 10 um, coaches out there as it relates to specific niches. Now, a mentor in general, everyone knows that that is an experienced or trusted advisor. Um, a counselor is someone that is trained to give advice on personal, social, or psychological uh, problems. Um, an advisor is a person who gives advice in a particular field, you know, so they have that, they, they are SMEs or subject matter experts in a, in a specific field as it relates to being an advisor. A consultant is a person who provides expert advice professionally that relates to someone um, who is, I'll give you an example, like a project manager. So, you know, people, different Fortune 500 companies hire project managers for different roles. And they are uh, a person who can give expert advice on process and improvements and different things of that nature. As it relates to, you know, different industries, could be in the engineering industry, you have to have a project manager, which is pretty much a consultant. Now, a coach, all right, let's bring you to a coach. A coach, not from a team or sports perspective, but from a business perspective, okay? A coach is a trained it gives a train method or provides a method in which uh, s specific skills of that employee is actually um, developed by the guidance or the advice of that person to, you know, improve their skills, performance, or career overall. So you will see those different types of um, coaches here. Now, life coaching, that's the very first one. I know a lot of people, you know, ask like, hey, Maurice, are you into life coaching, different things of that nature? I'm not into life coaching. I'm more of a transformational coach or inspirational coach. And I'll go over that later here in um, this quick PowerPoint. But life coaching specifically is um, the people who need help in identifying their goals, re-identifying or uh, re-evaluating um, their, their specific purpose or different things of that nature. Now, life coaching is not a skill or a trade where you can go and get specific advice on. So be very careful of the type of individuals that you go and seek as it relates to life coaching, because these things can can be a pretty, pretty good penny. OK, it, it can it, it can hit your pockets, you know, trying to find a good life coach. But most importantly, uh, uh, the specialties of a life coach is specifically they they are very good in, in actively listening, accountability, support uh, they're giving uh, they give you that constructive feedback, but most importantly, the value in that constructive feedback is from a, a, a place that's not being um, unbiased, you know, so they're not giving their personal opinion of, of 
specifically of what you should do as it relates to the feedback or different things of that nature. They're just getting, they're just listening to you, actively listening to you and giving you or regurgitating the information. So it's in a point or, or give it in a way where you can actually, um, you know, be receptive and, and actually get the support that you need as it relates to growing and different things of that nature. Business coaching. Business coaching. Uh, this one is to help businesses and entrepreneurs um, and, and different owners. Shout out to everybody who started a business here in, uh, you know, 2020 and uh, individuals who actually started a, a business in 2019. Like I said uh, before in one of my other videos, I started Inspire to Cultivate September of 2019. And, um, you know, right when I was <laughs> about to unload several things here, the pandemic hit. Um, but you know, what, what my type of business here, the overhead has been very, very little. I, have, I haven't I have been hit, you know, much at all. But most importantly, a business coach. A business coach is the type of coaching or people who benefit the most is they reflect and approve business vision or strategic direction. So if you have a business, you're looking to scale. Uh, most importantly, you want to think about the vision and the, the direction actually that you actually looking to go. Um, that's something that I had to really sit down and think about where I want to take Inspire to Cultivate as relates related to the pandemic itself. Pretty much it helped you identify, implement successful um, growth opportunities, you know, so you sit down and you actually understand specifically where you want to go as it relates to your vision and your st strategic direction. Do not let that impact or do not let other people's opinions become your reality. So you want to sit down and really think about where you want to take your company because this is ultimately your vision. Um, it, it works for individuals and groups within the organization as all. Well. You know, I just threw that blurb in there real quick because you're going to actually see that in different companies that you may work for. You can see that in your corporate culture. Now, executive coaching, okay, very close to business. It's similar, it's very similar to business coaching, but executive coaching focus on business growth. Um, the person that comes to mind for executive coaching is um, the president of uh, WGU, which is the online university that I teach at. Uh, specifically, our president, uh, he, one day he actually pointed out that uh, his coach, which I'm pretty sure was an executive coach, actually pointed out several things as it relates to um, getting new ideas and perspectives and boosting WGU as a worldwide um, online university. Now, specifically, if you know anything about the president of uh, WGU is um, he did come from uh, the, the culture of, you know, Jeff Bezos there, um, the Amazon executive who actually started, you know, Amazon. But most importantly, he did have, um, well, we're not going to go into the history, but, but specifically these types of coaching provides top leaders, managers within an organization, tools and strategies for, uh, rapid improvement. And if you know anything about WGU and you go look at the statistics there, that's why I love working for uh, that university, which is uh, a big part of my earned income, which gives me the ability to focus on, um, you know, my passive income endeavors as well. But executive coaching overall, leadership coaching. All right. Leadership coaching. And I have a quote here. Companies are hiring coaches to teach executives how to sharpen management skills and communicate effectively. Now you see a lot of leadership coaching in IT firms, you know, specifically that's where, you know, I focus. Um, so if you have something that's different where you actually see leadership coaching, you know, provide that feedback in the comments here or actually, you know, send me a direct message as well. But specifically these individuals, and when I say these individuals, you may see people who um, excel in their everyday duties as it relates to um, computational data or something where they're actually fulfilling a void as it relates to IT. And then when those individuals get into leadership roles, they actually lack those skills as it relates to being a leader or supporting people or motivating them or being able to sustain the performance of the actual organization. So overall, you know, introverts and <laughs> different, thing, different people of that nature, sometimes they may excel at their individual um, you know, roles, but when they get into that people leader role, they actually do not do well. So you see a lot of leadership coaching, which is uh, to develop leadership skills, resolve interpersonal conflicts among team members, which is the employees overall. And they sometimes they fix mid level behavior problems as well. They can be held responsible for that as well as it relates to the duties. 
high performance coaching. All right. So you may see this marketed on Facebook, IG, LinkedIn, especially on LinkedIn. Uh, you, you know, when it comes to those those tickets and those those high price coaching programs that you see online, you know, people always say they they, they do high performance coaching, which is uh, specifically when they say that this is the type of coaching that's suitable for leader, leaders, athletes, and employees. Um, and specifically, this kind of coach works on your overall performance. You know, they achieve the best. They make sure they get the best out of you in, in any endeavor in your life. You know, most importantly, they always challenging you and supporting you. Um, one group that I'm actually involved in, very little right now because of the pandemic, but um, a fitness group called Effective Fitness. Um, and it's a, it's a group out of here in um, Atlanta that actually works out online and they have several different programs that you can do. You can do it online, you can do it in person. You know, I got the 5 a.m., got the noon, I got the what, five or six. I kind of forgot the schedules there as it relates to different time zones. But overall, the coach himself is a high performance coach. He will get the best out of you. Even if you was to go on, uh, I don't know, Cam Newton. I seen Cam Newton working out with this individual. But again, this type of individual help their clients attain high performance in any desired aspect in their life. I digress though. Career coaching. You see this a lot as well. Um, I know this slide has a lot of material on it and I am going to try to sum this up here. So as it relates to career coaching, this one is uh, individuals who help people with job hunting, um, interview and resume, um, you know, guidance and critiquing that. Uh, in thinking about the right career goal. And when I say career goal, you may have someone like myself, uh, when it comes to career coaching, being a, a program mentor too at uh, WGU, I try not to give direction, but specifically I give them different avenues or perspectives as, as they can actually make sure that they're aligned to their dreams and goals. And the reason why I say that is you may have a guy who's thinking of, um, Yes, I want a computer science degree. However, I'm thinking about going to the software development pathway or I want to go and do data analytics or I want to go specifically and focus on software engineering. You know, those different computer science actually connects to those different career paths. But in order for someone to get or align themselves, you have to have those conversations as a re, re, as a re, as a re, oh, I can't talk right now as it relates to their career goals and objectives. Um, and mostly, most important, you give them the tools they need to, to be successful. Like I said, um, practicing interviews, um, you know, looking at their resume, and not only that, you know, specifically asking them those questions that, um, that they actually do not understand because you don't know what you don't know until you don't know it. Now, career is very similar to career coaching is very similar to the personal development coaching. But personal development coaching is uh, a form of coaching that's, that has a sharp focus on personal development, hence the name personal development. Um, specifically, uh, the, the coach here is to um, help you overcome specific um, obstacles, um, achieve specific goals, and reach that next level of personal growth. Um, it can be in any area of life, any area of life, going back to that high performance. You know, some of these actually overlap, but personal development is something that's mission critical as it relates to, um, it could be in your business, it could be in your finance, your personal life, wellness, and relationships. Uh, I think the most important thing that to come to the person, the person that comes to mind is uh, Asada Moore. Um, her book here, uh, you know, A Guide to Getting Your Mind and Credit Right, and you pretty much see just the title there. I don't want to use any profanity for people who are looking at this, but specifically in her book, she outlines, um, you know, different ways for you to get to the next level as it relates to your business, your financial, personal life, your wellness, and different relationships. And she actually have it broken down into three sections, which is getting your mind right, um, getting your credit right, and then she discussed um, in the second, I mean, the third session, um, you know, money. And at the end of each chapter she actually have some actionable or some tangible smart goals to have you think and reflect and start writing things down but that is the person that comes to mind as it relates to development personal development coaching now this next area wellness coaching this is the type of individual uh, that, that help you 
or they come and they evaluate what you what, what your current state is right now as it relates to your mind and your body not your body excuse me as it relates to your health uh your emotional state um it, let's just say your, your wellness coach is a person who helps you stick to that plan as it relates to improving your health um with a holistic approach if you watched our last interview with dennis and cordell um, you will notice that during that interview, we touched on um, him being a vegan. And I actually touched on and discussed a few things as it relates to uh, my personal journey, as it relates to, you know, one, figuring out how to eat clean. After I started to eat clean, I actually started to do supplements, which was herbal life. After the herbal life, I became um, a, a vegetarian, a part time vegetarian. And then from there, it's just a matter of one, figuring out a holistic approach that works for me and works for my family as it relates to what I wanna look like, what my genes are, different things in that nature, but I digress. The, the whole purpose of a wellness coach is, um, you know, giving that holistic approach as it relates to your health. Now, success coach. Um, I used to call, um, back when I was teaching computer science and engineering at the University of Chicago, uh, you know, charter school there, UCW, um, I used to call my specific coach, uh, Tiffany Jordan, Ms. Jordan, I used to call her my success coach. Now, a, a, a success coach helps with time management and setting and achieving the right goals. And I used to call her my success coach because I didn't have a time management problem, but specifically what I would do is I will go through lessons too fast and then I will leave at least 20, 15 to 20 minutes at the end of course, or the end of class, not the end of class, but say, say my class session is an hour, okay? I will go through a lesson, and when I will go through a lesson, I will have them do it, and then we do it together, all right? So I do, you do, then we do. So that was the model. Now, once you actually get through that model, for me, I was too fast. You know, as you can see right now, I talk very fast. Um, I will get through a lesson early. I'll have them work on it. And then when it come, come to the part of we practicing, excuse me, the second part was me actually practicing with them. Then after that, I'll have them practice individually. But specifically, she used to work on one, that time management piece, slow down, give practical examples. Um, here's how you can actually pursue it uh, or get better at this faster if you was to take this actionable goal or try this. And we used to meet weekly and she was a big part of my success of transitioning into a teacher. Shout out to Ms. Jordan one time, my success coach. Now, transformational coaching. Um, among the types of coaching we listed so far, a transformational coach is most related, related to life coaching. As I started stated earlier, excuse me, um, I find myself in this category as a transformational coach and an inspirational coach. And here's why. The major difference between a trans, transformational coach is that um, I focus on help people change the way they view themselves, okay? I help people change the way they view themselves. Meanwhile, a life coach focus on guiding clients on how to better themselves by changing the way they act, okay? By the way they behave, changing the, the actual behavior. Me, I actually change the individuals by the way they view themselves. And you can see here as it relates to an inspirational coach as well. The inspirational coach specifically, they help clients initiate or ignite the change that they need in their lives. Um, most importantly, um, you help people see the gifts and the talents from a new perspective. Like, like I said, going back to that transformational coach, um, you gain knowledge and expertise and, and, and cultivate inspiration. Hence, you have the channel Inspire to Cultivate. But most importantly, um, you know, it, we, we tend to combine science-based psychology tools, uh, ongoing feedback, support, and the most important piece is solutions to the lack of inspiration uh, related issues. Um, you want some key tangible things to walk away with some action items. Hence, that's why we having a conversation of coachings. That way, as you begin to write down your 2021 goals, you will have an idea of where you wanna take your family, um, what level you wanna ascend to next, next year, um, most important piece is uh, having a conversation with your spouse, uh, your loved ones, your family, uh, you know, what their goals are as well as to make sure that everyone is aligned. And most importantly, 
you know, hiring a coach to get you there. Everyone has a coach. Denzel Washington had a, 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 a coach. If you look it up, everyone has some form of coach to actually get them to the next level, okay? So my key takeaway is I challenge you to, one, think about where you want to take your family, where you want to take yourself as it, as it, as it relates to your business or just some personal goals that you may have. Um, continue to aspire, continue to stay focused to your dreams and goals, but most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you back here on the next upload.